So you're planning on putting some Wi-Fi in your house and you're curious how many access points you really need to get good coverage. And so today's video, we're gonna talk about that. We're actually gonna run a little experiment. Now my house normally has four access points, but we're gonna go down to just one. And we're gonna just see how well the coverage is from this single access point. So tune in. Hey guys, welcome to the Ethernet Blueprint channel. My name is Tim Trich, and on this channel, we focus on helping people just like you build in a great network into your new construction home. Now, today's video is gonna be a little bit different than we normally do. We're not gonna be showing you how to configure something or how to install something from Ubiquity. We're actually gonna have a little bit of fun and experiment with the U6LR access point. So let me kind of set the stage here and then we'll get started. When I built my house six years ago, I wired it for up to four access points. Um, and at the time we were using the AC Pro from Ubiquity, a very good access point but we've since upgraded to the U6LR and I still have four of them, even though I probably don't need that many. So I thought it'd be fun today to just take it down from four access points to one and just see what kind of coverage we get. And the goal with this is just to share one, how well this little access point performs and to also show you that you guys don't need to fill your house to the hilt with access points. From talking to a lot of you out there, I think the general um, thought process behind this is have as many access points as you can. That way you can have coverage everywhere in every little nook and cranny. However, that can cause some issues. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised today how well the U6 performs when it's standing by itself. So without any further ado, let's get started and see how he does. All right, guys. So here is where we're going to look at how my home is laid out. I kind of just want to give you a little bit of a, a tour of how things are set up today. So this is a map of my main floor. You can see we have a back porch right here and the access point is sitting right outside from that. So we fully expected to get good signal here. This is my living room and my kitchen, dining room. Everything's fairly open. However, on the main floor, we do have a pantry back over here and an office slash spare bedroom back here that will check the signal on. I'll also check the signal on the garage and go clear back to the far right corner here or far left corner, excuse me, um, to see how well the five gigahertz does there. All right, then we'll move down to the basement and the basement is pretty open right now. So this is kind of a rendition of what it could have been, but pretty much none of this stuff is here other than the storage utility stuff. There's no bedroom here. It's just all open and I'll kind of walk through there. My access point is sitting right here, right above the M on rec room there. So that's where that's sitting. And we'll go see what we get for signal down there. Then we're going to venture up to the second floor. And the second floor is where all my bedrooms are. Now, currently I have one in the middle of the hallway here, but that one has been shut down. And so basically my access point is kind of underneath bedroom two here. Um, and so we're just going to see where we get signal as we walk through everywhere. Okay. So um, pretty much the farthest point is this is the walk-in closet. So we'll walk through the master, come to the bathroom and go into the walk-in closet. Um, that's where I expect to get the worst amount of signal. Um, as well. So, and then uh, last, I just want to talk about in the basement, um, right outside the rec room here is my patio. So we are going to go outside and see how well we do outside to control and make sure that our Wi-Fi isn't switching from 2.4 to 5. I'm going to connect to a 5 gigahertz only network and really see how this thing does. But if you look at my picture, if you look at how things are laid out, this is the signal. Now this can't read signal up between the and down between the floors. It's just giving you a flat look at it. Um, but I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised when we do the walkthrough of how well this guy performs. So let's get on with the tour. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a layout of where we're going to be walking. So as I'm walking and I'm just showing you my screen and as we measure signal, you can kind of get a taste for that. So here we go. Okay, so we're actually going to start on the main floor and I'm standing right underneath the access point. And I did a little speed test. This is typically what we're pulling right now is 100 meg, whether you're physically connected or on Wi-Fi. So I wanted to show the initial speed test here just to kind of give us a good starting point. And then basically I'm going to turn on the Wi-Fi man and uh, we're going to 
track our wireless coverage throughout my home. I'll start on the main floor and then we're gonna go and move upstairs and downstairs. So let's go ahead and turn on Wi-Fi man here. Okay. So I am connected specifically to the five gigahertz network here because that's the one I really wanna tra track. I wanna see how well the five gigahertz does throughout my home. Also, as you probably saw in the diagrams I showed earlier, um, my house has a fairly open floor plan. There isn't a lot of walls we're going to be going through, but I am going to go into the rooms just to show you here. So let's kind of take a walk and we'll just kind of let the signal here run as we walk. We are connected to the only access point that's live. So I'm going to start first by going back into my pantry and then my spare bedroom. So I'm a little ways away and you can see the signals dropped a little bit. Um, and this is how, this is about as far away. Actually, let me go into this um, other room over here. It's about as far away as I can get in the house on the main floor from the access point. So you can see that we are minus 63 dB. That's not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just use the same app and run a speed test from here. You can see we're still pulling 100. Not too bad, 150. So we didn't lose any speed, even though, you know, minus 63 is still a pretty good signal. So not too bad, not too shabby. So I'm gonna head out of here and we'll go back out to where the access point is. Um, the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is the back porch. So we'll go back here on the back porch and we'll actually go outside. I'm gonna close the door behind me. Okay, let's see how well. Now my access point is right by this back porch. So it should give us pretty good coverage out here. I did that on purpose because we have a TV outside and we want to be able to sit on the back deck and enjoy the view and be online. So you can see we're minus 54. It's still pretty good. Um, I'll go ahead and run another speed test out here. And as you can see, we're pulling full speed, which is good. All right, so let's head back in the house. All right, next we're gonna go out to the garage. So sort of an exterior part of the home, we'll go out here. Okay, so I'm out in the garage, the door is closed and I will go to the farthest point from my garage just to see what kind of signal we're getting. Okay, it did drop a little bit. Oh, there it goes, minus 65, so not too bad. Not too bad, let's see what we get speeds out here. Our speeds did drop as we're out here, but we are still connected. And that's a that's a good thing. And you can see and they're even climbing a little bit. So I was I'm pretty pleased by that. That's not too bad. Minus 64, uh, minus 67 outside in the garage, which again is I'm I'm a good 50 feet away from the AP pretty easily and going through my garage wall. So I'll head back in the house here. Let's go down stairs to the basement, which is unfinished, which means there isn't a lot of walls. It's open. Uh, but we'll go ahead and go down there and see how we do when we're a floor down from the access point. Okay. So I'll start in the area where it's directly under first. So kind of stand directly below it. So that's about right here. So we're a floor down, but we're right underneath the access point. So I'm gonna walk around down here and just kind of see what the signal does. See how well we stay connected. Getting further away. You can see it dropping a little bit, but not too much. So now I'm kind of by where my garage door is, but in the basement. So let's see what we got for speeds down here. Yep, still pulling full speed, which is good. All right, so as you can see in my basement, which really I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk the whole thing, but you can see we really didn't drop much signal at all. Everything is still pretty solid from just like when we were on the main floor. So I, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't even, I could probably even get by without having an access point in my basement if I wanted to. So I'm pretty pleased. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is go out outside under my back deck, but we are outside again. And let's see how it does out here. So I'm on my back patio, sorry for the bubbling brook behind us, but we have a little, seating area out here. Let's see how it does. So I'm even still minus 62 outside. 
my home with this one access point. Let's go ahead and run a speed test. Okay, again, pretty close to full speed, not too bad. All right, so minus 68, kind of similar to the garage, but not too bad. All right, so I'm going to head back in here. We're going to go upstairs this time. So my access point, as you saw in the very beginning of this video, is pointed down. So we're going to be above it. And I think you'll see that the signal up there is pretty good, too. So let's go take a look at it here. And I apologize for any noises in my home. I'm sharing the space with my whole clan here. Okay, so I'm going to head upstairs. Now, the upstairs area is where all our bedrooms are. So there are walls, um, you know, separating the bedrooms and stuff. So I'll kind of walk through each bedroom here. This is the first bedroom, which is on the far end of the house. Um, not too far away from the access point, actually. My master bedroom is probably the farthest away where the closet's at. So, um, still getting decent speeds. Okay, that's good. All right, let's head over to the next bedroom, which is pretty much right on top of it. So, it should get good signal in here, I would guess. Yeah, minus 55, minus 50. So I'm pretty much right directly on top of it right now. So it is broadcasting upwards, which is nice. And I'm going to go across the hall into my son's room and even into his bathroom just to kind of create as much distance as I can. All right, so minus 68. Definitely dropped a little bit. But the speeds are pretty close. Not too bad. You can see they dropped a little bit. That's okay, though. I mean, didn't drop a lot. Okay, so now I'm going to head down to the farthest area of the home, which is the master. And so let's go in here a little bit. And I'll go to the very farthest wall I can and test signal here. So minus 67. All right, kind of similar to my son's room as far as speeds go. And we are on the, the same side of the house as where my son's room is at. So, all right, let me head into the walk-in closet, which is over the top of my garage. So we're a little ways away again. But again, going through walls, going through a floor. See it drop there. Turn around here so it's not going through my body. Let's see what we get here. Let's see if it jumps back up at all. And not that I would need signal in my master closet, but I mean, I've covered my entire house, which is actually, um, I think it's 3,800 square feet total. So one access point is doing a lot of work and a lot holding a lot of weight here. So start a speed test. Let's see how slow it is in here. So even in here. So I would imagine if I was on my network that's doing both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, it would probably maybe switch me over to the 2.4 um, instead of the 5. I'm forcing it to be on 5 um, on purpose. But even at minus 79, minus 81 dBs, we're still pulling some pretty decent speeds. Um, not too bad. Not too bad. So this is kind of an interesting experiment. I I thought I I figured this guy would probably do pretty good, but he even did better than I thought he would. Um, so typically when we do a home and, and we're walking through and it's a three level home like this, we'll put one in the basement, one on the main level and one on the second floor, usually to give us a good whole coverage and allow devices that are on the second floor to stay connected to the second floor AP, because obviously the farther your traffic has to go, you'll lose some speeds. But I thought it was kind of interesting if you think about the direction these things are pointed and where we're still picking up signal. In all honesty, if all my access points died and I had to go down to one access point, I think it'd be okay. I think we'd be able to get by just fine, even outside in the garage and on my back patio with a single access point. So all in all, I think the experiment was successful and I'll go ahead and stop the screen recording now and we can sum up our findings.
Okay guys, what can we learn from today's little experiment? Well, one, we might have learned that I paid a little bit too much money for my access points because I don't actually need four as it turns out. However, if I was doing this all over again and I was wiring my house fresh today and I knew I was gonna use this style of access point, I probably would still wire it for three, one on each floor to give me the best amount of coverage and be able to handle the amount of devices that I'm sure we're gonna grow into over the years. Um, so I don't think I'd do it much differently and I don't think I'd wanna go down to one access point. However, I was pretty proud of the little guy. He performed pretty well. So please don't take this as only put one access point in your home, guys. Every house is different. The amount of walls it's gotta go through, um, how far, how big, where you put it, all plays into this. Um, so today was just to experiment and have a little bit of fun and just see how well these U6LRs really do um, in a home this size. And so I was pretty proud of it. It did a really, really good job. So this wraps up our findings, guys. Thanks for tuning in the video today. Like always, like our channel, subscribe to us. If you have questions, or anything, please put them down below. We'd love to get back to you and get those answered for you. And uh, thanks for joining our little uh, video experiment today, and we'll see you in a future video.